No doubt that an important part of the studying process of any subject is taking notes. However, taking notes is only a small part of the studying process and there's a lot more to it. So this video won't be on how to take the prettiest notes because you know, we don't want to spend ages just making notes, but rather the most effective way to take notes as well as maintaining a certain style while enjoying the process, which is actually the reason I got an iPad, but if you don't have one, it's okay, you can still follow the process just fine. Before each lecture, I have a quick review on the content so that I have an idea on how to structure my notes. Our lectures are classroom based, but it is the same for remote lectures as well. I use good notes but any other app will do the job just fine. Most of the time I begin with a title typed out to make it look better and stand out and then start from there. I don't have a specific structure for my notes but depending on the subject I might do it as a mind map or bullet points or maybe something different. I spend most of the time in the lecture just paying attention. I see a lot of students just copy down everything the teacher said which is just a waste of time. I suggest you pay attention to what the teacher is saying and every 5 minutes just ask yourself Okay, how do I summarize what the teacher just said in the least amount of writing possible? This will result in three things. One is that you will keep paying attention and make you more engaged in the lecture, since it's not just the teacher talking at you for hours, but rather it's you trying to digest the information. Second is that it will improve your understanding, because every time you try to summarize a lot of talking from your teacher to a small note, you will require a lot of understanding. So during the this process you will find some gaps in your knowledge which is totally fine and you can always ask the teacher of any questions you have. Three is that it will make you remember the lecture much better because it's a way to practice active recall since it's not just a passive process by just copying down what the teacher is saying but you're actually trying to remember what the teacher is saying and trying to summarize it. I don't know about you all but in our course we have to do a lot of illustrations in chemistry and biology so the best way I found is that I draw everything in Procreate and then I just simply drag and drop the layer that has the drawing into my notes. I suggest that you stick with specific colors in your notebook so you can achieve a certain look or style. I also suggest that you don't waste your time trying to use different colors by choosing a color every time. Instead, write everything down and then just use the selection tool and select the stuff that you want to color and then simply choose the color you want or you can do other stuff like moving or resizing and more to make your own style. With that being said, I still believe that understanding is the most important part of the studying process and that is why sometimes I spend even more time just watching YouTube videos and making mind maps for the topics that I find hard to understand. My last step is that I convert my notes into flashcards. You can simply use Anki for free to make flashcards, but I'm currently using RimNote because it's more functional on the iPad. I can simply take a screenshot of my notes and then hide certain parts of the image to be tested on later. This will make it stick in your brain because you're using spaced repetition that is built in in the app. Also keep in mind that this video is just to give you an inspiration for your own workflow and your workflow may look nothing like mine and that's okay. It is also okay not to know what you're doing. Just keep trying out new methods and new tools until you find out what works best for you. I hope you guys found that useful and thank you for watching. Peace.